Just in terms of what we saw unfold on the pitch, Kuman did things his way. Can we at least give him credit for sticking to his ideas, for being progressive, for, for believing in himself, for showing that belief in his players? That is really kind from you. Or are we not even going to go that, that far? That's really kind. Well, it depends what you mean. Um, are we saying, you know, good on him for having his ideas. I think on one level, you can say um, there was a determination there and a, and, and a clarity in the sense that he chose to play with two 17-year-olds. He played Ansu Fati and, and, and Pedri. In truth, though, choosing Ansu Fati isn't a big decision. Everyone knows you've got to put Ansu Fati in the team. The question mark was Pedri, who had played very well um, building up to this game, and, and but I think had played very well from a central position. And so he puts him in, but he puts him on the right-hand side. And it comes back to this thing that I keep complaining about with Barcelona. They have a whole load of people all trying to gravitate towards the same space on the pitch consistently. And this time round, so so he puts Messi behind Fatty. So he's had two people perform really well directly behind the forward. And those have been Coutinho and Pedri. So he puts them both in, but he puts them both on the wings, forced to come inside. Um, Coutinho coming inside off the left on his right foot. Pedri coming inside off the right on his left foot. And so you get this kind of conglomeration yeah. of, of of players again. So that 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 chaos is is not really resolved by this. No, Jules, uh, this this is an age old thing. But at least he fixed it quickly in the second, early in the second half when he saw it wasn't working, and he made all those substitutions, right? Yeah, oh wait, no, oh, he didn't. He on. waited until the eighty second minute when they were two one down after an hour, and he waited all that time. We can't praise someone who got everything wrong. I don't know why you asked that question about should we give him credit? Credit for what? He got everything wrong. He got he got he's. Starting 11 wrong, and I'm sorry, Pedri would be a very good player soon or in a few years, but he's not ready for a it game. Would have been like all this. different. He's with not ready. But I, I'm not saying to he would be honest. Be... But Jules, I, I don't think it's a question of him not being ready. I think he could have been ready if he'd been playing in his position, but he wasn't. Yeah, maybe as well. But maybe he wasn't ready right. because he was completely playing off position as well. But you know, you can't you can't say anything positive about Kuman when he was. I mean, I, everything that he did was wrong. What, what I found disconcerting, obviously a lot of focus is on the front four, uh, Sid, but there were times in that match, in the second half, when Messi does the Messi. Messi had a quiet game, and I think, obviously, if Messi's on form, you had that really cool turn and everything was, was special. No, six Classicos with no goals, no yeah, assists. That's fine, but, I know, know, I'm, I'm less concerned with that. But um, I thought there were times in the second half when Messi does a thing where he goes and, and he gets the ball off Gerard Piquet and sits way deep. And I look up, and Frankie de Jong is way up. Uh, almost, we're filling Messi's space almost in like a forward position. Everybody's kind of in a line up there. I'm thinking to myself, this is horrendous. I don't need to see mm -hmm. this. Why? I mean, is there also an argument to be made that that midfield really isn't working either? I, I, no, I completely agree that that midfield isn't working. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why Messi drops deep. I'm gonna, let me just slightly defend Messi a little bit, because I think that Messi's performance is the kind of the performance that because it's messy, we think he didn't play well. If anyone else on the pitch puts in that performance, we think he's had an absolutely fantastic right. game. Messi until the 60th minute is true. I, I, I mean, I for what it's worth, I think in the last half an hour, he does drift out of the game. And curiously enough, he drifts out the game at the point in which people start to relentlessly look for him because they've got no ideas of their own because they pass on, pass on the ball to him increasingly. But you look at the stats, for example, he touches the ball more than anyone else on the pitch anyone else on the pitch this is a quiet game now i'm not saying that's perfect because of course it's not perfect to get the ball all the time but the first goal yeah. comes from a pass from him um he gets taken down just inside the area and just outside the area and two brilliant runs through the middle he has the one that courtois saves like, if anyone else on the pitch does that we say what, right. what a good game but the thing is but messi set his own his own bar too right high. and he's also he's, paid he's, accordingly He's also oh, paid no, accordingly no, for no, that, no, and that's no, why we no, hold them to a higher standard. I don't want to hear this thing no, about, no, no, like, you know, no, no, okay, no, anybody in else. Fairness, in fairness. Yeah, and he fairness, deserves it. I don't think we do hold him to higher standards because he's paid that much money. I think we hold him to higher standards because he's the best player in the world. That's <laughs> why we hold him to standards. Not because of money. The plenty Sid, of really bad players get paid a lot of money. If we don't yeah, but nobody's in the bad. same stratosphere. Sid, we're going to have to leave it <laughs> yeah. there. Thanks so much. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.